Conquering Pronoun Case, Common Errors and Their Fixes. Hello, language learners. Today we are going to talk about a crucial part of the English grammar, pronoun cases, and more specifically, we'll tackle some of the most common errors related to this topic. By the end of this video, you'll be well equipped to avoid these common mistakes in your daily conversations and writings. Before diving into the errors, let's briefly refresh our understanding of pronoun cases. In English, pronouns change their form based on their function in a sentence, just like nouns. There are three cases, nominative, objective, and possessive. For instance, he, nominative, him, objective, and his, possessive, are all forms of the same pronoun. Now that we have the basics down, let's move to the most interesting part of our discussion, common errors made in pronoun case usage. Error 1. Using nominative case instead of objective case, and vice versa. An error often encountered is using a pronoun in the nominative case when the objective case should have been used, or the other way around. For example, me and my friend went to the park. Here, the correct phrase should be, my friend and I went to the park. Error 2. Misuse of pronouns after prepositions. Prepositions in English always call for the objective case of pronouns. For instance, saying, between you and I, is incorrect. The correct phrase is, between you and me. Error 3. Incorrect pronouns in comparisons. When making comparisons using, then, or as, it's common to misuse the pronoun case. For instance, she is taller than him. While it might sound correct, the proper sentence is, she is taller than he is. Strategy 1. Double check your sentence structure. Identify whether the pronoun is a subject, nominative, an object, objective, or showing ownership, possessive, in the sentence. Strategy 2. Use prepositions as a cue. Remember, prepositions in English require the objective case of pronouns. Strategy 3. Complete the comparisons. When comparing, complete the sentence in your mind. She is taller than he may sound a bit odd, but if you mentally complete the sentence, she is taller than he is, it becomes clear. Pronoun case can be tricky, but with awareness and practice, you can master it. Remember, the key to improving your grammar is constant practice and mindful application of the rules you learn. Keep practicing, and you'll continue to improve. We hope this video was helpful in your English learning journey. Thanks for watching and happy learning!